Dear friends, let us look at another aspect of the play Julius Caesar. One of the important aspects of Shakespearean plays is the role of women in his plays. The character of women or the role of women in some of his plays is very limited. They have a too small scope for growth or development. Generally, when we look at a full-length play, we think about a round character and flat character. Those characters who don't have the scope for growth are considered as flat characters. In Julius Caesar, Shakespeare has uh, given a very limited scope for his women characters. They don't grow for a higher stature. But still, within the limited time, the women characters play some significant role in Julius Caesar also. Julius Caesar, though, gives less scope for women characters because of its uh, political nature of the story or the power battle, naturally it has less scope for women. Still, two women characters, only two women characters, more or less, who appear on the stage in the play are California, that is wife of Julius Caesar and another is Portia, the wife of Brutus. There are limited women characters or better say only two women characters. Let us look at the first one, California. California is actually the fourth wife of Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar who had no children from his earlier wives suffered the same problem with California also. California had no children. But still, Caesar believes that his wife will be freed from the curse of barrenness if she takes participation in the course of Lupercal festival procession. The character of California comes on the stage in the second scene of the first act. The second scene where the procession as a part of uh, Ides of March begins on 15th of February. And it is a course, Lupercal festivals course, where the priest who runs the course will touch women. If the woman who is barren is touched by the priest in the course, it is believed that she will be blessed to have the child, will be freed from her barrenness. That is why Julius Caesar invites his wife along with his procession. And that is the first appearance of California on the stage uh, in the procession. And she was touched by priest and Caesar was very happy. And the second time when California appears on the stage was in the second scene of the second act where there was foretelling of say bad dreams. California who had a bad dream was terribly afraid of some horrors, some dangers. Because that night there was thunder, lightning, rain and a horrible atmosphere in Rome. She could not sleep. In her sleep, so many times she dreamt a horror. She tells it to her husband Julius Caesar. And she was terribly afraid that she requests her husband Caesar that he should not go out of the house as a part of her horrible experience of bad dream. She restricts her husband. But Julius Caesar somehow sheds away all these fears of his wife. 
even though she tells that he should not go to senate hall just for the sake of his wife he agrees in the beginning but ultimately rejects her request and says that he is not afraid of death nor of his enemies california requests him begs him and reveals all the dangerous scenes of the dream that she dreamt but caesar at last shows his bravery saying that death should not be feared of he uses a beautiful dialogue let me quote that cowards die many a times before the death whereas valiant never taste death but once that was how caesar is brave in shedding out all these hurdles his wife was helpless could not tell anything further in spite of her plea she fails to stop her husband julius caesar of course goes to senate and of course the tragedy of uh, the murder of caesar takes place but california didn't come on the scene afterwards she comes on the stage only twice but still significant that shows her character speaks about her life also another character is brutus's wife porcia porcia is a brave warrior daughter of a great warrior cato and she is proud of herself porcia the wife of brutus comes first time in the first scene of the second act of the play when the scene opens she was ill suffering from cold and fever she argues with her husband that he is also suffering from cold and fever and in the cold night he should not go out but brutus who was very busy with his conspiracy and the team of conspirators refuses and tells a lie to his wife porcia and arguing about his pretension and lie she questions him whether his wife is a partner in all his sufferings of life or whether she is only a partner in his bed whether she is a harlot or a true wife of brutus brutus was helpless answer could not come to brutus to her question whether she is a great woman or just a prostitute for his life the character of horsia appears another time on the stage that is in the fourth scene of second act when she suspects that brutus is hiding something and when he goes to senate hall she sends a servant to know what is happening near senate and she was very worried about his health and the danger the woman who comes to the street also even amidst her suffering porcia is brave and worried about the dangers she is worried about the well being of her husband and the society within the very short appearance on the stage the two women characters are quite unique california is unique in one way in speaking to her husband about the danger and porcia is unique in another way revealing about her own personal character and her concern for the safety of rome and safety of her husband shakespeare dramatist treats the two women characters in a unique way though their appearance is very limited they are in a way specific characters of their own individual characteristic porcia and california are in that way very unique porcia is especially an individual who is not a, a mediocre character is really 
a woman of substance. That is what we see in the character of Portia. Shakespeare gives a significant weightage to the character of Portia in this way and that is shown in the conversation that she held with her husband Brutus. Thank you.